Hey friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about shading a realistic hand. Shading a realistic hand involves paying attention to the form and the lighting to create depth and dimension. Pay attention to the proportions and details of the fingers, palm, and any visible knuckles or bones. Determine the direction of the light source. This is crucial as it dictates where the shadows will fall. I start by lightly shading the entire hand with a mid-tone that represents the average color of the skin. Don't worry about details yet. Just focus on converting the entire hand with this base tone. Now observe the hand's anatomy and the light source. Darken the areas that are in shadow, such as the spaces between the fingers, the undersides of the fingers, and any creases or wrinkles. Use a darker pencil or shading tool for this. Identify the areas that catch the most light, like the knuckles, the top of the fingers, and the palm. Leave these areas relatively lighter to create contrast and depth. Use a blending tool to gently blend and smooth the transitions between light and shadow. This will make the shading look more natural. Add finger details like the fingernails, veins, and wrinkles on the skin. Be patient and use a sharp pencil or a fine tip tool for this step. Continuously evaluate the contrast in your drawing. Make areas of deep shadow darker if needed and fine-tune the lightening to create a more realistic look. Examine your drawing for any inaccurate or areas that need improvement. Make any necessary adjustments and add additional details as required. Consider adding a background or context to your hand drawing if desired. This can help enhance the overall composition. Remember that practice is key to improving your shading skills. Study real hands, photographs, and other artists' work to gain a better understanding of how light and shadows interact with the hand's anatomy. Don't be discouraged if your first attempts don't turn out perfect. It takes time to develop your shading technique. Remember, practice is the key to mastery. So, keep experimenting with different lighting scenarios and hand positions. Your progress will be evident in each stroke of your pencil. As stay creative, keep sketching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, happy drawing!